Hi, everybody. Art Conforti here to talk to you a little bit about marketing for this upcoming holiday season. And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of SEO in there because I'm going to make it all seamless and so easy for you. All right. Let's start with this bouquet here. We have a flower shop in the Washington area calling this bouquet Love, Love, Love. Great. He did the meta work on it as well. What's that mean? I'd like to order the Love, Love, Love. Yet over here, you have deluxe red roses. So when you go to Love, 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 you're going to get 12, 18, or 24 roses. So in the owner's mind, it's roses. What else do you want to know? But in Google's mind, this is set up as what's called an H1 tag. That's a title. The title is what Google looks for when it when somebody's looking for roses. It's looking in all the H1s, and it's going to look for where it says dozen roses, 12 roses, 15 roses, 3 roses. As long as the word roses is in there, it's going to show up. What's not looking for is love, love, love. So it's very important that you understand that all this copy means nothing if it's not titled properly to attract the search result from a person looking to send a dozen roses somewhere. See, when it comes to expressing your feelings, you can't go wrong with roses. That's why James Christ Flores is uh, proud to bring you love, 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 the perfect bouquet for when rose, roses aren't enough. This luxurious mix of one dozen rose, red roses combined with baby's breath and other seasonal foliage is a classic treatment of romance that will leave your special someone feeling loved as you feel. And see, so what I'm looking for is what about the other sizes, 18 and 24? If you're going to write all this content up and you're going to put the word James Crest Forest in there, then by all means, put in the city and state where he is, whatever town that is, and the word roses with it. That's really the proper way to set up your SEO. All right, now that we have that understood, let's take a look at what else is going on out here. So people are ordering flowers for Admin Day, right? So let's say you find Washington Flor uh, Florist Incorporated here in Newark, New Jersey. Well, when you go to the website and you're looking for Admin Day, what are you seeing here? Make Mom's Day flower delivery in Newark, fifty nine ninety sixty five. I'm not seeing anything for Admin Day. Look at this Telefloor's Oceanside Garden Bouquet. What what does that mean? Like why is Telefloor's name in there? It should be your name in there, Washington Florists. Washington Flores always on my mind. Washington Flores, kiss of the rose. I mean, Teleflora's kiss of the rose. Why is it Teleflora's? This needs to be the name of the flower shop. And why are we focusing so much on roses? We're talking about Mom's Day. Maybe a dozen pink roses, maybe a red. But for the most part, where's all the cutesy arrangements in the containers? But before that, let's look at what's going on for Admin Day, right? We were looking for Admin Day first. So I'm going to bypass this shop because they don't have what I'm looking for. Let's go to this other flower shop here. This is in Tampa, Blooms and Bouquets. You, you see what I'm saying? This is why I, I, I get so passionate but yet frustrated when I see florists not taking care of this because this is what the industry is needing. You can't blame Telefor FTD or, or BloomNet. These guys are putting out a great platform. It's up to you, in most cases, to hire people like us or others to go ahead and, and complement the experience with the right flowers, colors, card message, balloon. That's the job of the marketer. So that being said, let's continue on. Um, so I'm looking for flowers for Admin Day. And I'm going to see Deluxe uh, Designer's Choice. Okay, $50. Not bad. Send Luxury, $125. I don't know. If I'm spending $125, I think I'm going to be picking what I want to send and I'm going to be more specific. Again, here's Teleflora putting their name on this. It doesn't. Teleflora doesn't make you do this, by the way. They, they suggest it, but by all means, you can make it whatever name that you would like it to be. Okay. Let's continue. Uh, then we have, let's go to Orlando. Very luxe, right? Orlando luxe flower arrangements. <clears throat> Premium white glove 
delivery. All right. The white glove service is something we put out about 10 years ago, and they're still using it, which is terrific. Lee, Lee Bot Bouquet fl Flores, Flores, exceptional experience every time. I'm not classy enough to say that right. All right, so let's look at the names again. The One. Gigantic Box. Roses and Orchids. They're trying to be too cute. And if this works for them, it's, it's it's fine. Who are we to say what to do? But if you think that Google's going to understand that, you're kidding yourself. As great as AI is, it's not understanding that Enchanted is roses. It's got to take all the rest of this in and speak to it because it just says Enchanted. One word names are hideous. They're just terrible our orchid crush in the box i mean you have to read and you have to learn what's going on in order for that to make sense for you so keep in mind when you're naming your products if you want to conquer seo then you need to make it as easy for google as possible to know what it is that you're selling let's take a look at tallahassee look at this it is admin day next wednesday's admin day we need a lot of small arrangements and large quantities. So let's look at the Fashionista Bloom, $72.95. Always a lady, $99.99. Lavish love bouquet with long stem red roses, $87.95. Sweet as a sugar by Teleflora. Once again, why isn't it by the country flower shop of Tallahassee? Victorian Garden. So what we're missing here is Admin Day. I go up here, Mother's Day. Occasions, there it is. It's hidden. And this is what, it, it's just baffles me. Look at the copy here. There's really no SEO work done. And what does that mean, SEO work? That means lots of copy, lots of writing. I'm going to show it to you in just a moment. So as you can see here for Admin Day, 54, 54, 59, 69, 59, 72. Is this what people are going to spend? I doubt it. They're not going to buy, if they have an office full of four or five or 10 or 20 people, they're not going to spend that kind of money. Look at this one. Springtime's here for $70. It's not worth, that's worth way more than that. Look at this one. That vase alone is $25, $30, $74.99. We need to double check this. And that's what a marketing agency like ours will do. We will always double check the price with the owner to make sure, like here, Teleflora's Tulip trans, uh, Treasure. Teleflora's? No, that's that's the country flower shops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This is about 15 or 16 tulips with a very fine vase. I think you need to double check that. And here's the other thing that gets me. So you have this beautiful vase of Teleflora's Tulips for $59.99 passionate purple tulips for $74.99. Come on now. Do you see what I'm saying? The, does this make any sense? This is a much nicer vase. That's just a cylinder. Um, what's the point? We're missing it. Anyway, so if you were to select this, standard 59, deluxe 64, premium $74.99. Now, let's break that down. What exactly is the difference between standard and deluxe? $60 to $64.99, is that one flower premium? I mean, do you follow what I'm saying? None of this makes any sense. So this is typically a flower shop that just threw numbers at the wall to see what was going to stick. This is not good. We need the industry. The industry needs help. If I'm sitting there saying, I'll do this for you, they say I'm self-serving, I'm self-promoting, I'm doing it for myself. That's not the case. We want to help you. So there you have it. So let's look and see this one. Passionate Purple, 74. Now this goes to 104 to 134. What is the difference? If I'm a designer and I get the request for 104.99, they want the deluxe version of Passionate Purple Tulips. What do I do? Do I give them more tulips? Do I add more flowers? Do I give them a bigger vase? There's no direction here. So this is an experience that's bound to go wrong, and it's, it's not right. It's not ready. 
I hope you can all agree with me and understand what I'm saying. All right, let's take a ride over to Hackensack. Whoa, my gosh, here we go. Awful, I didn't expect to see this. This is Lovingly, which is like, if you don't know what you're doing, get a Lovingly account because they're going to do all the work. They're going to get the orders. They're going to get the money. You're just the front man for them. It's just not a good, it's just not good, period. So sweet. So we got, it looks like is Valentine's leftover tulips, 89 for premium, 79 69 we don't know what that is is that is what's ten dollars today in tulips i hope you understand I, I need to say no more i don't think so let's continue on um enchanted uh let's take a look at uh, how about this one all right this is seasonal escapes in long island beautiful cover right admin day you click on the the, the banner and you go to admin day, just like it should. Great. All right, so let's take a look at what they're offering. Designer's Choice, $75. Okay, it's expensive out in Long Island, right? Starting at 50, upgraded to 100, premium 150. So it opens it up. What price range do you want to, do you want to shop in? And we will design this arrangement to your request. You got a How Sweet It Is book, okay? Symbinium Orchid Desktop Garden. These are great because people can buy the large or the smaller. So there, small, large, pick which one you want. There's obviously two there. It's easy to understand. Now, this is another big and most popular item during um, admin day. Check it out. One vase, 35. Two vases, 50. Three vases, 65. So you can make a purchase of more than just what the picture shows. It's not saying small, medium, and large. Let's take a look at one of our other shops. Here's one, Milwaukee. Great shop here. Alpha. Now look at their homepage. Different, right? It makes the shop have its own personality. Admin day, best value, designer's choice. Wonderful. Once you click on this, you're going into your own selection. One bouquet two bouquets three bouquets you see we are speaking to the experience of the item that you're purchasing so it's not just a standard deluxe premium 10 20 30 it's designer's choice and there's the price point in this case the client wants to send it out in prices so if you want a bouquet it's one bouquet two bouquets three bouquets instead of small medium and large kudos to them they're doing it right granted we are their marketing company so we work a lot on this with our shops because many of them are like my friends don't do that the shop down the street doesn't do that well you know what we're not the shop down the street one thing about me everybody i'm all about the numbers at the end of the day you make your results on numbers you make your payroll based on numbers it, it should not be something that you shy away from it should, it should be something you're very proud of is your numbers being right your payroll being within 30 percent your cost of goods being within 30 percent your marketing budget being within 10 percent once you know these numbers you're going to feel very comfortable knowing that you're going to reach your goals every month and you're going to be always in the black and not in the red if you do it one day at a time i'm very proud of my team they do a great job with all of this we love helping shops as you can see now these shops really need a lot of help in these areas and we're more than happy to help them so i hope you enjoyed this um i'm not sure which one this one was oh yeah look at this one the enchanted florist alexandria virginia but really look, look i mean 125 to 165 can anybody tell me the difference i mean you got some roses to um symbidiums then you got a harvest moon i don't know what that has to do with the harvest moon ivory bliss from 200 to 275 that's a lot of money for a bouquet so it's 200 to 275 and 200 275 so all right it, no it didn't change same exact image i don't know when you're starting to talk to two to 275 300 i think some work needs to be put in on the design styles and types and amounts I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful for you. Please don't just accept what a wire service gives you. Bloom Night, uh, Bloomnet does great. FTD's got their program. Telefor's got theirs. They just want you to look good, but they can't 
they can't dig into every bloom and understand your pricing strategies. It's something you have to do. And like many shops who don't have the time, that's why everyone should have a digital agency like a Bloomerang to help them with their business as well. After all, if you're not making money, we're not making money or a future for ourselves. We want you to be successful and profitable. Please leave me a message or and or call me anytime. I love talking shop at any hour of the night, as you can see. Thanks for watching.